Today on Taste Test, we're trying foods popularized in the 1970s. Ricky, how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little nervous just because I feel like if it's food from the 70s, there's probably gonna be something involving like jello or like some sort of molded gelatin meat. Ooh. Ooh! Hamburger Helper. Do you know what Hamburger Helper is? Is it microwavable hamburger? When you had to like cook food for your family and all you just, all you needed was this box of seasoning and ground beef and you just throw it in a frying pan all together and mix it. Okay, let's get started. Bring out dish number one. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to Food Network and hit the bell right down below to get notified when we post new episodes. Yeah, this is, is this like a Hamburger Helper thing? This looks like Hamburger Helper. <laughs> Introduced in 1971, Hamburger Helper promised to get a complete meal onto the dinner table. Each box contained dried pasta with packets of powdered sauce and seasonings. Home cooks need to only combine them with browned ground beef and water. This looks oh, good. This I can imagine good. putting some parm on this. Mm. Ooh. Mm. It's so good. It tastes like home. It really is like the ultimate comfort food. Would you make this for your family? I would make this for my family. First and foremost, very 70s. We have Kraft <laughs> to thank for Watergate salad, nice 70s reference. Consisting of canned pineapple, mm -hmm. okay, whipped cream, marshmallows, pistachio pudding. While the origin of its pistachio name has never pudding. been confirmed, some believe it's named for the infamous scandal. Regardless, it was a hit at Potlucks throughout the 70s. Let's try this. Yeah. Oh my God, that flavor. Hmm. A lot of textures. Sure. Some may say too many textures. It totally reminds me of like. It's got a Jello. Going to a buffet. You think it's funny that it's called a salad? I mean, what else would it be called? A parfait? Yeah, it's not. A, a it pudding? wouldn't fly today in, as a salad. This the this would cause like a lot of like blogger angst. This is like the <laughs> thing from Stranger Things. I think before we try it, we need to just like break down what we think it is. Okay, break it down. And then, and then dive into the cart. Why would you ever do that to a hot dog? That's what it is? These are like probably the most overcooked hot dogs I've ever seen in my I life. I know, I love a good fried hot dog though, I will say. Yeah, true. And then in the middle, I Just guess, like, like some sort of coleslaw. Cabbage and poppy seed. Whether it was pineapples, tomatoes, or in this case, hot dogs, the 70s were a time when basically any food was seen <laughs> as a potential container for another. This crown roast of Frankfurters stuffed with cabbage. Serves four and does not skip on style. I guess I'm gonna try a bite of the hot dog with the yeah. cabbage mixture. Uh, well, there's a hot dog. To be quite honest, it might be the only part of this I actually enjoy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not I mean, my favorite. I like a classic I'll hot dog. It's ballpark, mustard, do you ketchup, put, uh, relish, you onion. You put ketchup on hot dogs? Yeah, you do one row of each. This might be a dinner dessert hybrid. Turkey? This, no, I think this is pork. It smells porky. Oh, we're both wrong. As vacation travel to the Hawaiian Islands became more popular, the state's food and culture were embraced on the mainland. The 70s saw an excess of pineapple added to just about everything, especially pineapple chicken. It looks pretty good. Yeah. That's actually really good. I like that. The whole pineapple thing, they thought it was People thought it was so exotic in the 70s. But this looks, this is good. The chicken is very good. Like, mm -hmm. it's very moist. This is good, though. Yeah, I'll eat this all day. Oh, oh, let's just get a little jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. We're doubling up on the... Look at it move. Yeah, the pudding and jellos and stuff. It's just called salads. All right, salads suspended in gelatin gained surprising momentum in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. That's 30 years of momentum. <laughs> yeah. With ingredients such as salmon and cheese included in the molds. Home cooks got creative with shapes from donuts and loaves to whole fish. What kind of, and what's in it though? Don't tell me it's like cream it's, cheese it's or green, something. It's green, it's healthy. Horrible. That tastes like like urinal puck flavored <laughs> cottage cheese right there. <laughs> Something is not sitting well with this cottage cheese situation. So. But there is onion in there. Onion? What? Okay. Are you sure? Oh my Can God. Can I have some more hamburger <laughs> I'm not. I think I'm finished. This didn't do anything to it's deserve like, this treatment. Lime jello, we love you. This was a big thing this as like, Whenever there was a bring a dish to pass kind of like party, 
Somebody always brought this and I never ever ate it. This is probably the first time I've ever eaten one of these. I just don't really understand how any of those flavors go together. No, no, not at all. Because they don't. All right, Jeremy, how was that? Yeah, I feel like you didn't really know a lot about the 70s when we started out. Do you feel like you're a aficionado at this point? Absolutely, I think I was born in the wrong decade. <laughs> I think I was meant for the 70s in every way. Really? And if uh, Jello constitutes salad, then that's where I want to be. <laughs> what, was your, what was your favorite thing? Oh my gosh, I think I loved the Hamburger Helper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> Obviously the Hamburger Helper. So good, such a classic. It was just a, it was just a nice trip down memory lane. Well, I don't think I ever need to have onions and jello together again, but please comment down below and let us know if you guys have tried any of these crazy foods from the 70s. And we'll see you next time on Taste Test.